Greetings to you all. Welcome to class 7, term 3, unit 1, supplementary reading, Sintbad. My first voyage. Today we are going to see the guided reading. Explanation and book bag exercise in the other videos. Sintbad. The sailor is a fictional mariner and the hero of a story cycle of Middle Eastern origin. He is described as a man from Baghdad during the early Abyssinia Caliphate 8th and 9th centuries CE. In the course of seven voyages throughout the seas east of Africa and south of Asia he has fantastic adventures in magical realms encountering monsters and witnessing supernatural phenomena in this extract the rich sindbad describes his first voyage to the poor sindbad porter my father was a rich merchant when he died i was still young he left behind a big wealth however i was an inexperienced thoughtless youth and spent all his wealth foolishly i returned to my senses only after the loss of all the wealth i decided to sail for the persian gulf with some goods our group sailed from one country to another selling the goods one day when we were on board we saw a beautiful small green island just to have some fun we all got down on that green patch we were hungry so we decided to cook some food there as soon as we lit the fire for cooking we got a jerk the island was trembling it was no island it was the back of a huge animal which got disturbed when the fire was lit on his back we were terrified when we realized this everyone jumped into the sea to save his life most of them boarded the ship but a few were not so fortunate before they could climb up the captain started the ship hurriedly leaving behind a few sailors who were still struggling in the sea for their life i was one among those strugglers fortunately i caught hold of a big piece of wood floating nearby and held on to it i was being tossed by the powerful sea waves but i held on to the wood and kept floating for a long time at last i was thrown on an island i was very tired and extremely hungry but on the island there was nothing to eat except a few herbs due to the continuous struggle in the sea water my limbs became stiff and refused to move i somehow managed to crawl to get a few herbs i ate them and quenched my thirst from a spring on the island as i walked further in the strange land i met a man the man asked me where i had come from and who i was i poured out my misfortune to him the man felt pity when he heard my sad story he took me inside a cave there were a number of men present they were all slaves of the king of the island those men were kind they saved me gave good food and drink and treated me well later on they produced me in front of the 
king mirchan who was the ruler of the island i narrated my tale of suffering and hardship to the king the king was a noble and a kind person he sympathized with me and appointed me as an officer on the spot soon i became friendly with the people on the island there were a number of other small islands nearby these islands were under king under king mirjan too during my stay i witnessed a number of remarkable sights the sea water around the islands contained huge and terrible fishes a few were 100 times bigger than the largest ship once i saw a fish that had a head like a bull i witnessed many unimaginable wonders ships from different parts of the world visited this small island kingdom sport regularly every day i would ask the visiting sailors about my city baghdad but no one knew about my city i longed to go back home one day when i was standing on the port i saw a ship approaching the port it was the same ship which had sailed further leaving me behind struggling in the sea when the captain of the ship saw me he was greatly surprised to find me alive he and the other crew members hugged me with happiness the captain handed over my goods to me which had been left on the ship among my goods i chose a few valuable items and presented those to the kind king in return the king also gave me expensive presents the ship stayed on the island for a few days meanwhile i did good business and earned a lot of money when it was time to leave i went to meet the king i thanked the king for his kindness and all the favors he had done to me the king again gave me many valuable farewell gifts finally i returned to my city baghdad as a rich man sinbad completed the tale of his first voyage the poor porter sinbad was listening to the amazing tale of sinbad with all wonder sinbad the sailor then bade goodbye to the poor porter and asked him to come the next day to hear the tale of his new voyage but before leaving he presented sinbad a purse full of gold coins the unexpected riches overjoyed sinbad the porter he thanked his rich host and went home now let us see the glossary phenomena it means events trembling it means shaking terrified frightened tossed thrown about quenched satisfied by drinking poured out expressed freely hardship severe suffering witnessed observed so i hope all of you understood don't miss to watch the explanation video tamil and english with a lot of images and book back exercise